In my opinion, we have something much better than a running prototype. We decided to follow industry leaders like Mala Powertrain instead of doing what the inexperienced person does. Now, what does that mean? People who don't have experience in developing engines, what they do is they actually build a prototype, they test it, it fails, they go back to the drawing board, back to the machine shop, and they go back to testing, and before long, they find themselves in a perpetual loop of doing R&D with no end anywhere in sight. Three, four, five, ten years down the road, they've gone through millions of dollars in R&D, and they've gotten nowhere. And you can go back and look at engines that, have been, that were developed 10, 15 years ago, and you'll find that these people are still doing the exact same thing and never reaching a, you know, a final design. So at Alpha Dan, we decided to do something completely different. We teamed up with an industry leader like Mala Powertrain, a company that develops engines, designs engines, engineers internal combustion engines for most of the large OEMs worldwide. And the process that they follow is completely different. It starts with a basic feasibility study to first of all determine whether the design works or doesn't work. Once we, we reach the conclusion that our design, that the changes that we made to our, you know, to the inline four cylinder engine worked, we then entered into a contract that starts with an in-depth feasibility study. We then start to engineer using software and data that Mala has collected over, the, over decades, you know, that they've accumulated over time, and we actually start to fine tune and develop the parts starting with the piston, working our way down to the rod, working our way down to the crankshaft, determining the reciprocating mass of all these parts and all of the loads on every single part on that engine. They then break down the four stroke cycle into 720 data points, which is basically one degree for the 720 degrees of the four stroke cycle. Those parts are then tested on an actual test rig that tests each, each individual part and compares it to the data that they got from the engineering and from the software. So once the parts have passed the actual physical test, we then enter into what they call the single cylinder engine test run. And here, they take the parts from the actual engine. So these are actual parts that would be used in our final production engine, and they build a one cylinder version of our engine. That allows them to fine tune the design. We're not building that engine to see if it runs, we're building that engine to fine tune. You're looking at you know, fine tuning uh, you know, uh, valve angles, you know, valve timing, uh, you know, the position of the rings, you're looking at oil film thicknesses, you're looking at things that maybe you can't pick up with software, but you're fine tuning that design. You're looking at performance parameters, you're looking at tweaking for emissions. Once all of those parameters have been finalized, we then move into the multi-cylinder part of the project where basically once you see the very first inline I-4, that engine is pretty much a production ready engine according to Mala Powertrain. Now this is the system used by most of the large car companies around the world. It's the system that we're using and I know I've gotten a lot of heat on the internet over why don't you have a running prototype? Well, it's simple. You know, we have a responsibility to our investors. We don't want to throw away investors' money. We're following the path that guarantees us the best success.